What sets Durfee Law Group apart from other estate planning law firms? First of all, I want to say there are a great number of really good lawyers out there, many that I have high regard for that are very smart uh, and that do a good job for their clients. So in, in many respects, I think the candid acknowledgement is that there's lots of lawyers that do a really good job. And, uh, and if you have a good lawyer that has done a good job, great, stick with them. Uh, I review trusts. Uh, I get several a week, and, and that's part of the service we offer is to uh, give a complimentary re review of trusts. And I see trusts all the time that I come back to the client and say, this is a good trust. I, I think you should keep this trust. Uh, and I could tell you it's a bad one and charge you money, but I'd be taking your money and I don't need to. Now, at the same time, sometimes I'll say, here's this trust, and I'll, let's pick a number, 10 things that this trust could do. It does these seven but it does not do these three. And one of them might be this dispute avoidance or, or the dynasty planning or, or some other factors like that. And I'm going to ask, do you care about those three things? And if the client says, no, I don't, I don't care about those three things, then once again, I'm going to say, great, you, you've got a trust, keep that trust. Uh, but on the other hand, sometimes they'll say, no, I, I want those three things. In fact, I'm kind of upset that nobody has talked to me about those three things. So which comes to what makes us different. I have been doing dynasty estate planning since before that was a term that people would use. We've, I've been creating trusts that are perpetual in term, multi-generation for decades and decades. We've, so we've pioneered that. We have a great many innovations, including the alternative dispute provisions, including something called a protector, uh, a lot of our charitable planning. Uh, we. Our firm, uh, my practice, is interdisciplinary. We look at what's going on with the real estate, what's going on with the taxes, what's going on with the marriage, what's going on with the family and the children, what's going on with the finances, what's going on with the insurance. I don't sell insurance, I don't sell businesses, but I help people plan around all those things. So we look at the whole planning situation. I think one of your questions is going to be, and I'm going to anticipate this and answer it, what's, what is Integrated planning, that's the byline on our, on our law firm letterhead. Integrated planning is taking all those various pieces and connecting them together. This is something that's very different. I see so many people come to me and they will have a very good estate plan and they will have a very good business plan and they are functioning in two different universes. They are not connected to each other. And then they'll have very good investment advice and very good tax advice over here, and they're all completely disconnected. And so there are unintended consequences from that. They're inadvertently harming themselves. Uh, I had a client come in recently who was paying far more in taxes than he needed to because his structures were simply not connected. And when we had a candid conversation with the client, and the CPA, and we said, why is this not connected right here? There was kind of a deer in headlights. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. So one of the things we do that's unique, uh, when we get a new client or we're working with an existing client, we diagram out the estate. We have uh, a unique proprietary color diagrams that we create for people that show all the structures, all the family members, how they're connected. I've had people come to me and say, I have done all my complaining, I'm, I'm finished, I have no more to do. I'll say, great, let's, let's map it out. And we start to map it out, and I'm putting things on the paper, and I'll say, what owns this? And then again, there's that awkward silence, I don't know. And then we go look, and sure enough, there will be loose ends, stray dogs, uh, things hanging out there that need to be connected. So the integrated planning means we're going to get all of those pieces connected and working together. The integrated planning also means that we work with the advisory team. I don't want to be the CPA. I don't want to be the investment guy. I don't want to be the insurance guy. But I do want all of those people on the team. I want them involved in the process. I want open communication among them so that each team member can do their job and contribute their, their part to what needs to happen. And uh, again, so often the planning is fractured. So what sets us apart? Our planning is integrated. Our planning looks at all these issues. We, I don't need to be the quarterback. I have no ego in this. I'm okay if the CPA or the insurance guy or the investment guy is the quarterback. Just somebody step up and be the quarterback. And if none of you are going to do it, okay, I'll do it. 
Uh, somebody's got to be the quarterback. Somebody's got to make all the pieces fit together. So that's kind of what sets us apart.